Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a quick first impressions kind of video because I got a new palette and I'm super excited about it and it's kind of like Valentine's Day themed so that's why I wanted to get this video up for you guys. Um, I'm just gonna do, like I said, a first impressions and I'm just gonna do the eye look today on camera to make it you know a shorter video um, because I don't have any other really new things that I'm gonna try today and if you couldn't tell I already have my base on and my eyebrows today so yes we can just get right into it um, so the palette is this one it's the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette but the new one it's the Love Signs palette so they already have a Zodiac palette. I don't have the other one, so I don't know if it's a different kind of formula or what, but yeah. And the only other thing is like there's a heart in the middle. <laughs> so that was the sleeve that it came with. Um, and it, it has information in the back. So this palette has 24 eyeshadows and one highlighter. And this is what it looks like. It's going to be hard to show because it's pretty big. It looks like this. This is just plastic. Isn't it so pretty? It's like a holographic heart in the middle. So because it's a Zodiac palette, the shades are like all named after the Zodiac, obviously. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm a Scorpio, so these are my shades here, which I'm pretty surprised about because normally Scorpio shades are always like red and orange and fiery, and but these are like, first of all, that's like the lightest shade in the palette. It's like a baby pink. I don't know if you can tell. It looks white almost. And this is like a lilac-y pink shimmer shade so all the shades around the center this is the highlighter by the way are matte shades and all of these are like baked shimmer shades so it says on the back embrace an enchanted look that's a match made in the stars with our zodiac love signs 25 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette a celestial spectrum of sun-kissed hues and cool cosmic shades Featuring 12 buttery mattes, so the shades in the middle, 12 baked shimmers, and a luminous baked highlighter. These rich, vivid shades apply effort effortlessly to light up your features with a flush of radiant color. So, they call these baked shadows because if you can see, they're like rounded on top. And apparently... This formula from Beige Cosmetics is supposed to be very good. And there's a nice mirror here. I actually don't own any... Well, I own the brushes, the Beige Cosmetics brushes that I use in like all my videos. But other than that, I'm pretty sure I don't have any Beige Cosmetics makeup. And that's because it's kind of hard to find in Canada. I actually got this palette at Urban Outfitters, which is weird. They only have like, well, the Urban Outfitters in my city, they only have BH Cosmetics and they have this palette and the Galaxy one, which I didn't get because it's only shimmers and I don't really like palettes that are just shimmer shades. But yeah, they only have BH Cosmetics and Lime Crime and like their own brand, which I don't know, doesn't really interest me. But when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. I just love the colors and the matte shades are so pretty. And you can get like many different looks with this, which is what I like from palettes. So obviously today I want to use the Scorpio shades because I'm a Scorpio. Um, but I'll have to dig into other shades obviously because I need a transition shade and, and a shade for putting depth in the crease so we'll see what I do I guess. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. So, as I said, this is a first impressions 
basically on BH Cosmetics eyeshadows because I've never tried them before. So I guess we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to prime my eyes. I do have some concealer on them anyway. Um, but... Yeah, I'm not wearing this out or anything, so we'll try how the shades go without a primer and if I notice anything crazy, I'll update you down below. But that's usually what I've been doing now is because I'm kind of testing if primer is actually worth it because I have the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion and it's kind of expensive and it's like just an extra step, so... I'm trying to see like which of my eyeshadow palettes I really need to use primer with and if it's like two then I don't know if it's worth it but yeah we'll just go without primer so the first thing I'm gonna do is apply my base shade and actually this palette doesn't have a matte cream shade which is what I normally go in with for my base so I think I just will skip that today and go straight in with the matte Scorpio shade, this one here. And I'm guessing I'm going to apply that all over the lid. And depending on if it's like super pink, let's just, let's just see. Because I'm kind of scared. Okay, it looks pretty light already let's see oh wow okay yeah that's pigmented <laughs> that like whited out my eye which is fine for a base shade this would be a good highlighter shade too if you like a more matte highlighter Yeah, I guess I could just bring that all the way up to my brow. I'm gonna use this mirror actually to get closer. Okay, so far I can't even really tell that that's supposed to be pink. It's very white based, but. I do like it. It's very brightening. But I do need a transition shade. I'm gonna go in with my fluffy crease brush and I think I'm going to use yeah the shade Leo which is funny because my boyfriend is a Leo so ah, cute. All signs. Uh, yeah, but that's that's a good um, transition shade. It's almost like an orangey brown, which I'm kind of into. So let's see how this goes. Whoa, very pigment. Well, I mean, like there's a lot of kick up. If you can see that, not really. Yeah, it's going on like. Like it looks in the pan, like a more orange tone brown, but that's fine. I like warm colors. So far, very easy to blend. They're not like patchy or anything. By the way, I paid $29 Canadian for this palette. Which is actually good. I know in the US you can get BH Cosmetics for like way less. But the only place I've seen them is like I could order it from Ulta. But at Ulta it's like $35. Plus you have to spend $75 to get free shipping. So that wasn't going to happen. And even on the BH Cosmetics site I think it's only in US dollars so it would end up being more expensive so i'm glad that i found this at urban outfitters yeah i think that's like the best deal i could get well i want some more depth in the crease so 
I'm gonna go in with a darker shade and a less fluffy brush. Yeah, I guess I'll use this little skinny one here. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the matte Gemini shade. It, I'm not even sure what kind of color that's supposed to be. I swatched it. It's like a brick red almost. I don't know, it's really interesting. But yeah, I think I'm gonna use that because I wanna tie in the pink since I will go back in with the Scorpio shimmer shade. So I'm just gonna put that in the crease. I'm just going very lightly. Pretty good color payoff because considering how lightly I'm going and how lightly I dipped into the shade. Yeah, see? It's quite pigmented. I'm gonna go in with the Scorpio shimmer shade all over the lid and see if I wanna add anything else after that. I think I should use a fluffy packing brush, maybe like this one. I mean, it's not really fluffy, but it's not like flat is what I meant. This is a uh, Royal and Langnickel Omnia BOM 18 detail brush. I actually have no idea how these shades go on. So I have some a bit here on the brush and we'll just see what happens. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow. It's kind of like duochrome. Ooh, I really like it already. Imagine if I was using Fix Plus. It would be even crazier. But I kind of like this more like soft shimmer. Ooh, I love it. I am really impressed with this. Like, the other palette that I've been using lately is the Huda Beauty New Nude palette. And like, these shimmers are performing better. <laughs> and that palette is $85 and this one is $29. So yeah, ooh, I like it a lot. Yeah, I do want to go back in with that crease shade just to deepen it up a touch more. Mostly on the outer corner. And I'm just like lightly dabbing in that shade. And with my crease brush, I do want to add more of that matte Leo shade. This one here. Just to blend everything. Just bringing that out a bit more. Okay. And I don't think I want to do too much on the lower lash line. Yeah, I think I just want to do some of that Gemini shade that we put in the crease. And just on the outer corner, like so. And then with the Scorpio shimmer shade, I will put that from the middle to the inner corner and kind of blend together in the middle. I'm going to use the highlighter for my inner corner and brow bone on my Veda Eye Smudger brush that I always use. 
it's just like a perfect shape if you can see yeah this middle shade is like uh, I don't even know what is it it's can you see it here no you can't <laughs> That's the highlighter. All these shadows like shift different shades. It's kind of like a champagne, I guess. I think what I'm like surprised about is when you touch these shades with a brush, they seem like they're super chunky, but then they go on like so smooth on the eye and they blend out really nicely and you don't lose like all the shimmer, you know? I really like this so far. I think that's all I want to do for now. Yeah, I mean, there's so many looks, like I said, you can get, like, look at this pink shade. I could have used that too. Yeah, I really like this palette already. I will keep you updated as to how it wears. And I will be using it again for sure. So, look at this blue color. Oh my god. And this. It's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I don't want to put like seven different colors on today. So, I'll just do this like soft pink shimmery so yeah so far really love it i'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera because like i said in the beginning i don't have any like super new things to try oh but i will show you my new lip product because it's really cute and very valentine's day themed so i'll be back hi i'm back already <laughs> i decided that I would just come back on camera to do my highlighter because this is a highlighter for the face in the middle of the palette here and I want to use that so I'll do it on camera. I think I want to use this brush, my Tarte um, Fairy brush. Ooh. That's pretty. It is quite glittery in case you don't like glitter. But I like the shade of it. Yeah, it's like a champagne gold, but not a yellow gold, which I like. More like a bronzy gold. Ooh, yeah. I like it. Oh no, guys. I think I really like beige cosmetics. I'll have to get some other things to try. <laughs> yes, I am liking that a lot. Oh, and for blush, I will also just mention it because I really like it also. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. It's like one of those marble. And this is also like a baked formula, if you can see. I just thought it would go really nicely with the eye look, and I really like it. It's like a peachy, yeah, peachy pink shimmery shade. Actually, it kind of looks like NARS Orgasm. It's here, if you can see, but maybe like less pink. Yeah, I really like that. Um, I think... Yeah, my mom gave this to me. I think she got it in a boxy charm. Yeah, pretty sure. So I'm super happy that I have that because I like that also. This is turning into a good makeup night. 
I was gonna say day, but it's like 7.30, so yeah. And the lip product that I wanted to show you, I actually was wearing it in another video in my January favorites video. It is the Kaja Heart Melter. This is the box here. Kaja is like a Korean brand, I believe. It's a new brand that's being sold at Sephora. Previously, it was only online, but I actually bought this in store. I was excited to see that they had it. They only have these and they have the Kaja, um, the eyeshadow little stacks. But what I really wanted was the blush, if you guys know what it is it's like a stamp and it's shaped like a heart so you like stamp it's like a cushion blush so it's like a liquid um, and you stamp it in the cushion and then you have like a heart on your cheek and i just thought it was so cute obviously it's like super gimmicky as is this product <laughs> but yeah i really wanted to try that so i have this in the shade be mine and it is a heart you can see so these are like super trending now these like things that you click up they're supposed to be like lip gloss sticks so you only click up like what you think you'll need because it's so smooth that you'll use like that whole amount of product so did I say the name of this yeah heart melter that's all I thought it had like a super oh yeah Moisture Melt Lip Gloss Stick. <laughs> That's what it's called. So I'm going to apply this. I do have lip balm on now. So yeah. But that's it. Oh, I need a mirror. I will say this like heart shape does not really make it easy to apply. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fuchsia pink almost. They had, um, they only had four shades in store, and I know there's more online, because the one I really wanted was red, but they didn't have that in store. They only had, like, some nude shades and a really pale pink, which I'm not really into, but I got this one because I don't really have any other color like this in my collection so yeah i really like it and it goes with my pink eyeshadow so yeah you can see like i used that whole amount like it's flat again which is why it's like a stick so don't like push it up and have a huge chunk because it won't go back in but yeah i really like the packaging of this feels really nice oh I didn't put mascara on <laughs> I always forget mascara right so now I'll be back to show you the finished look okay guys so this is the final look I love it if you want to see the eyeshadow closer I mean obviously I didn't do anything crazy um, I just wanted to try the shades because it was the first impressions um, and so far I really love it um, yeah this might be like my Valentine's date night look possibly um, yeah and I barely have like foundation on because my skin is so dry um, don't look at it but <laughs> yeah I have to get back to my skincare routine yeah i hope you like this video my hair is flat and gross as usual um yeah <laughs> if you liked it give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want me to do another look using the zodiac love signs palette i'm really wanting to try the blue shades yeah they look super nice and like the warmer orangey shades really excited about that so yeah let me know if that's something you'd like to see 
and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more videos from me and i will see you next time bye